Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I'm gonna show you a workaround how you can still request IFR clearance if trying to load a flight plan in SimReef and then eventually it will fail because, well, the, the loading of the flight plan doesn't fail, but actually when loading the flight plan, you can't request IFR clearance anymore. And that is specifically in the B78XH, uh, which is the heavy division one. I'm not sure if it's a heavy division issue or if it's an issue caused by the latest uh, sim update. Um, so I'm not going to make any outstate statements about that. I'm simply going to show you the workarounds. So what we're going to do, I'm going to first show you the issue, right? So I'm going to load the fly plan uh, from SimBrief. That will take a while. You can see that the IRS has been uh, aligned. So everything should be okay normally. Uh, so let's uh, wait till the fly plan to be loaded. And then see what happens. So the RAC data has been loaded. Um, we can not initialize the positions from here because it's busy. It's almost done importing the waypoints and the airways, as you can see. So it has done. So it has imported the plan. So we click on activate and then we click on execute if you click on execute you can see that the flight plan has been loaded here and also here in the uh, pane you can see that the uh, line has been uh, drawn which is cool so normally when you would press uh, scroll lock to open the ATC you would get an option here to say okay hey I want to use ATC service or I want to request IFR clearance but as you can see it's not available here anymore so how can we work around this issue? Well, the first thing is we need to quit the existing flight. And once you've done that, you need to switch to SimBrief. Right, so SimBrief, favorite tool of planning to use uh, for flight planning. So uh, let me zoom into that. So you can uh, generate the flight. And once you generate the flight, you have an option here called Download FMS. The Download FMS allows you to download the flight plan, right? So here you can see the one for flight uh, simulator 2020. So click on uh, download. Come on, do it. Download has done it, right? So it's in my uh, downloads folder. Uh, so let me scroll a little bit further away and switch back to uh, flight simulator because that's our next step. What we need to do is we need to use the built-in flight planner from flight simulator. So we're going to space or more. You can click on it or press on the space bar. Then you click load and save, uh, load the fly plan. And then we're gonna go to the folder where the fly plan is uh, located. It will take some time before it loads. Uh, there's one thing which you need to keep in mind. If you're loading a fly plan, it directly puts you on the runway. So if you want to change that, you need to I would say make a change and for example uh, set it on uh, one of the gates and you can set the uh, I would say departure to direct at least that combination worked for me because what we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, runway and the uh, actual uh, standard instrumental departure from within flight simulator so again we're going to load flight simulator You need to be aware that if you're switching uh, the departure, it will switch back to, to the runway. And now I'm telling it, I'm thinking, hey, did I check it? Yes, I checked it. So we're going to go to the uh, position there, right? So on the top, oh. we're going to say, okay, hey, once you have the external power, battery, APU, IRS alignment, and for the speed of this movie, we're going to configure the GPS and then we're going to request the uh, route again from SimBrief. Again, that will take some time, but as you can see, it already starts drawing the flight plan on uh, 
this screen. Not yet on the other ones because the IRS has not been initialized, right? So keep that in mind. You can, I would say, uh, force the, uh, I would say, ILS or SRI, force the IRS uh, alignment by uh, by an option in the heavy uh, menu section. I'm gonna show it to you in a few minutes. But first, I want to load the flight plan. So it's done. Then what you can do is you can click on activate, execute, and then it's drawn here, right? The option to activate or to directly load the ILA or directly align the IRS is by pressing this button. By default, it's set to real, which makes, uh, I would say, which means that it will take, I would say, eight to 10 minutes before it's aligned. So now we've done that, we're gonna check if the option is available uh, by pressing and here you can see now the option is available again so this is one of the workarounds which you can use uh, I'm not sure what's causing the issue again uh, so hopefully they will fix it soon because it's so it's a although it's a good way to use it uh, it's not the preferred way here ends this video I hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.